Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a super interesting debate. Linux Mint versus LMDE. Which one should you choose? Get comfy and let's dig into this comparison, all right? So here's the deal. Linux Mint and LMDE, Linux Mint Debian Edition, are both top-notch distros that scored high in our reviews. You might have heard Linux Mint is often seen as a new user distro, but um, it really shines for both newbies and seasoned Linux users. Meanwhile, LMDE is the fallback plan, an insurance policy for the Mint team in case Ubuntu gives them any surprises. Let's start with a quick breakdown of their foundations. Mainline Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu LTS. For instance, Mint 22 is riding on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. On the flip side, LMDE is built on Debian. Right now, LMDE 6 is based on Debian 12 Bookworm and LMDE 7 is on the horizon for end of this year with Debian 13. Cool, right? So, why have two flavors? Well, um, aside from the insurance policy factor, LMDE also serves as a great compatibility test for features like Cinnamon and the various apps, making sure they work smoothly uh, across distros. Think of it as a sandbox where the Mint team can experiment without compromising the core experience of Linux Mint. Now let's clear up a couple of uh, misconceptions. First off, LMDE isn't a rolling release anymore. It's based on Debian stable. And while it might seem like LMDE lags behind Debian, that's not really the case. Once you update your system, LMDE is essentially as current as Debian's latest point releases. So no worries there, okay? When it comes to features, Linux Mint packs a couple of cool graphical tools, the kernel manager and the driver manager, which make installing kernels and drivers a breeze. LMDE doesn't offer those tools by default. You'd need to use Synaptic or jump into the terminal instead. And regarding hardware support, Debian has come a long way by including non-free drivers. Yet, Ubuntu still leads the pack. For example, one printer in my test setup, an HP laser printer, was immediately recognized in Mint, while LMDE required a bit more elbow grease to work. It really shows how Ubuntu's hardware support remains a strong point for Linux Mint. Now, here's where things get a little technical. Ubuntu's hardware enablement stack, or HWE, updates kernels and graphics drivers every six months. This means performance improvements continue all through the life cycle of an LTS version. Debian, on the other hand, sticks with a freeze approach, only security patches and bug fixes are provided. This makes LMDE a bit less flexible if you're chasing the latest graphics improvements, but hey, you can still work around this with things like flat packs and Debian backports. Security is another important factor. Debian's massive repository, over 58,000 apps in its main repo, means a lot of software gets direct security updates from its security team. Ubuntu's repos are smaller in that regard. Also, while PPAs are a popular method in Ubuntu land for getting bleeding edge software, they aren't really recommended in LMDE because they can sometimes break the system. Here's a quick note on support periods. Linux Mint, being based on Ubuntu LTS, offers five years of support. LMDE, however, generally comes with roughly a year of support after a new version is released, typically totaling about three years. So um, if long-term support is your thing, that's something to consider. Let's recap the factors to decide which one is better for you. If you dislike Ubuntu or prefer a pure Debian experience, LMDE might be your cup of tea. It's community-driven and frankly a fantastic nod to the classic Debian approach. For fewer updates and a more stable, minimal update experience, LMDE takes the cake. For the latest hardware support and a more dynamic update cycle, Linux Mint might be more appealing due to its Ubuntu HWE stack for extended uh, support and ease of use. With graphical tools, mainline Mint wins out with tools like kernel manager and driver manager. So um, what do I personally use? Well, for me, LMDE takes the lead. I love its Ubuntu free experience and the renowned stability of a Debian based distro. Plus, I'm a big fan of community distros over corporate ones. That said, Linux Mint is an exceptional choice too, especially if you value the extended support and slick hardware support courtesy of Ubuntu. And now it's time for the verdict. After weighing all these factors, here's my take. If you're looking for a distro with robust support, frequent updates and great out of the box hardware compatibility, go with Linux Mint. But if you're a Debian enthusiast, appreciate a more conservative update cycle and want to embrace a truly community-driven project, 
LMDE is the perfect choice for me personally. Um, I lean towards LMDE because it fits my workflow and aligns with my preference for a Debian based ecosystem. Either way, you really can't go wrong with either option. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this comparison or found it helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and drop your comments down below on which distro you prefer, Mint or LMD. Until next time, keep, up, uh, keep exploring and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.